But once you love God, you will never be the same. And it's not a matter of me thinking that what I just said is accurate. No, that's a matter of me living it because I'm a living proof. I'm a living testimony, living witness to say that God is who he says he is. Hi there. Welcome if you are new or returning to my channel. My name is Erica. On this channel, I do Christ-centered content that involves sharing my story about Jesus and all that he has done for me. If that is something that you're interested in, guys, please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. For those of you that know knows me and have been following me for a while or have been watching my videos thank you by the way i really appreciate that but then you know that i have two teenagers i think i even shared that in my last video i have two teenagers and a six-year-old and one of the things that i don't have is support i don't have support from uh, either of their fathers i don't have support from any of their families and i don't have support from my family so i'm just literally like a lone wolf uh, raising my children on my own you know how they say it takes a community to raise children I, I can honestly say I wouldn't know about that because it, it hasn't it hasn't been that way unless you know the host of angels are with me and I'm not even trying to be funny but unless God is with me then if, if that's what we're referring to that as the host the heavenly host then yes if it takes a community to raise um, children then God is with me um, his heavenly hosts are with me and that is how I'm raising my children no lie I, I don't have a babysitter I don't have a mom I don't I have no help at this point right and one of the things that I usually found myself doing is almost every time it's like it, lit it literally was a cycle and what would happen is I would work so I'd get up when my kids were much younger I'd get up at around five o'clock in the morning or 6 30 in the morning i wish i was doing videos um youtube by then you know because then my, it, it would have been what 15 or 16 years going strong but unfortunately i only started well glory be to god i wasn't at men, uh, mentally i wasn't prepared to start those videos but nothing happens before it's time and hence the reason why god allowed me to be here right now <laughs> six years later with my third born and decided to start youtube so glory be to god he's never late always on time so now I would get up at 6.30 in the morning. If you all have children, then you know the process. Get up, get yourself ready. Um, the night before, what I try to do is I try to pack their lunches, get their outfits ready. Um, throughout the weekend, I do their hair. So it would be good for at least that week. Um, I do cornrows, so it would last for a week, put on their bonnets and we're good. And then getting up in the morning now for them to actually wash their face, breath, brush their teeth, have their breakfast all of that and then i would have to rush out the door drop them to daycare um or um yeah daycare or before and after school program before and after school program is just that the programs that allow you to drop your child off earlier than school um, begins so school starts at eight o'clock then you'd have that program and I'd of course have to pay for that but it was um it was subsidized so that I was, I was getting help for it with it so i was paying maybe about a certain amount a month and i was getting the other half um i believe the program would help me to pay for the rest right and um i'd be rushed and i'd rushed through traffic go to work just constantly rush 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 and honest to god i i got i was i got tired and i would come to the point where i was just angry at my children i was dealing with trauma dealing with all the abuse that i went through all the breakups all the relationships the friendships and then having to deal with stress at work having to deal with something another going on with my children them having a runny nose somebody scratched them you name it all that on my own i was overwhelmed and um i'd start a job and I wouldn't complete that job. I'd have to quit because, oh, my child is sick. And uh, it, the work um, at the time, or not the time, but the, the work, if you're working for someone, um, it's their time. You know, it wasn't very flexible. I couldn't go in when I felt like it. I had to go in at uh, 8.30 from 8 30 to 4 30 or 8 30 to 5 and that was it and i couldn't do that and was stressful and so every time i'd end up getting fired of course you couldn't go on ei because if it was of your if ei works like this if you get fired because of no fault of yours then you have to provide sufficient evidence as to why you ended up getting fired or if you quit then you definitely cannot apply for EI and what EI is if you guys know in Canada here what it is is you get a percentage of your regular pay so if you're making two thousand dollars a month 
or a week um, when you go on EI you've had to accumulate it's over 600 hours I believe and um, they would pay you bi-weekly and that EI is maybe good for six months to a year. I wouldn't qualify for EI because the majority of the time is that I would get fired because of my fault. My children was sick and that's not a valid excuse, right? Year after year, I'd go through that cycle and it frustrated me. When I tell you it frustrated me, it, I think it would frustrate anyone in 2019 when the whole situation happened. And I'm like, God, I don't want to be on welfare anymore. I always argue and cry and complain. I'm like, I don't want to be on welfare. So God allowed me to find a job through an agency. And what the agency is, if you guys know, or if you don't know, they help you get a job. You were, you get paid every week. You don't get health coverage. And one of the things I want as, as a single parent of children, one of the thing is it's important to have um, health coverage for dental, medical, and whatever other emergency comes up. And so I wanted that, but they said, they didn't really tell me how long it would take for me to get health coverage, but me within myself, I'm like, okay, maybe it'll be three months to six months. Okay, I'll wait. Anyways, now it so happened that I was working consecutively for six months, wasn't late, was literally always on time. And the great thing about this job at the time is I was in the office for a week, where by this time, Jordy was already in kindergarten. So it was like full day kindergarten. Her older sisters would pick her up. I needed to travel somewhere and I took a bit of time off. And then honestly, I just realized that the agency were called. They were like, where are you? The, like just how they were. I just felt like they were very unprofessional. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to keep this job. And I was going back through that season again where I'm like, oh my gosh, I this job is not flexible. But one of the good thing is that um, after the two weeks training or a week training, I was able to work on Mondays from home. Um, I would go in, uh, in the office um, from Mondays, only on Mondays, but from Tuesday to Friday, I would work from home, which was a little bit okay, I guess, right? But I'd still have to clock in at a certain time and clock out at a certain time. And I'm like, dude, even though I'm at home, like I can't slack, like there are things, like I was doing a data entry plus customer service. I'm like, okay, I can't clock out. I have to be consecutively working even though I'm at home. And I became so frustrated. And I'm like, how am I home, but I'm stuck to a computer? Like, I don't know if it's laziness, but whatever. But for me, honestly, I like to be an individual like we're right now I'm like I'm working because I'm doing um, I'm creating Christian content and that's me working for myself because God willing this video should go viral or I could get a significant amount of maybe over a thousand subscribers and you know the um, the criteria is criteria is for YouTube and then it would right so that's what i'm trying to say so essentially i'd like to work for myself is that going to happen right now in the near future i don't know anything is possible with god right long story short now i ended up quitting that job okay um and it was six months mind you i heard no talks about uh no they hadn't said anything to me about um getting health benefits they um health coverage they mentioned nothing about that and i'm like what it's been six months what's happening so i'm like you know when i was getting a certain amount of money and i'm like i know the job that i'm doing i'm supposed to get more right and so um certain things they were doing and i made mention to to them you know and then i'm like right like, come on, like, come on, you know, you guys are not being very fair with this problem. And then we, we talked something out, but then I still ended up quitting. And then I realized maybe a month later, I'm like, okay, I need this job. So I kind of like called back and I'm like, I apologize for how things went, blah, blah, blah. Then they called me back and like, hey, you want to come in and work? We will increase your pay. But again, nothing was discussed about, they, they said health coverage would um, kick in within a certain time, right? So I'm like, okay. And so I'm noticing now that after that six months, I was there for six months, I was having computer issues, honest to God, God knows the stress that I was going through with that place. But then they made it seem as if I was the one trying to clock out and not showing up for work or what have you. But the computer, the laptop that I had, as God is my witness, kept on clunking out. And it was such a terrible experience. I like, I wanted to cry. I'm like, God, please don't do this to me. Like I am not... I don't know what's, and it would happen like every Friday, 
every Friday this would happen the laptop would kind of clunk out on me and then they're like oh well you know you had this issue last week and I'm like I'm not sure what you're trying to imply here but God knows that I'm not trying to I don't know what it is that you're implying but I don't I, I don't know but I'm just letting you know that the situ the, the laptop's not working and so there was a lot of doubts on their end and I just felt like okay what's going on still nothing was discussed about the um, health coverage and I just came to the point where I'm like, God, I'm frustrated. It so happened that there was like a uh, someone trying to get into my unit. I was literally traumatized because I'm like, who is trying to get into my unit? I've been in abusive relationships before. And honest to God, one of the things that scared me with that break, um, that um, someone trying to enter into my unit, police were called and what have you. And to be honest with you, it kind of freaked me out a lot. It freaked me out a whole lot, right? And so i i i didn't call my work for a bit and um when i didn't call them they obviously kind of thought that okay uh she quit and I, I was there were things leading up to my quitting which is what i gathered from that right now anyways i didn't quit long story short i tried to apply for ei and when i tried to apply for ei they delayed me okay and they delayed the process and basically declined me applying for EI. Remember earlier, I was trying to explain to you what EI is. So they basically <laughs> tried, they pay you a percentage of the amount of hours that you've done. And so if you made a certain amount of um, money, they pay you a certain percentage of that every week or every two weeks. And I applied for that because I'm like, God, you know that I didn't quit this job, you know, I didn't do anything to lose this job. You know that, right? Praise God as I'm talking, the sun is shining, the sunlight, man. And this angle, I don't want to put it in another angle and then you guys can't see me, but I'm going to wrap this up. And <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to share this to let you know that um, God's delay works out for your <laughs> your good, okay? God's delay or your your delay works out for your good when God is in control, all right? So it so happened, long story short, um, I applied for EI maybe two months. My rent, m mind you, I was, I told God, Lord, I'm not going on welfare again. I'm done. And my rent wasn't being paid. My car insurance wasn't being paid. I, my bills were literally piling up on me, all right? And I said, God, I am not going on welfare. And I am trusting you that you will allow me to qualify for EI, even though the odds are against me. They're saying that I quit because I didn't have a legitimate reason. And glory be to God. After two months, do you know, can I just tell you that God qualified me for EI? And you know what allowed me to even get EI? Hmm? Obviously God. But because I was considered an entrepreneur with my own business because of my other YouTube channel. Hmm? Yeah, because they asked me how long I was doing it. The lady called me, you see when God is doing something in your life, it's almost like it, it it's not that it makes no sense, but there's no logical explanation as to why it should work. Do you see what I mean? <laughs> there's no logical explanation. Like the lady's calling me and on a Saturday and she's explaining stuff to me and I'm like, but I'm not even making that much money from my other YouTube channel, but it's not even enough to be considered a part-time employee, but yet I'm putting in all these hours. So how is it that you're trying to tell me blah, 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 blah. And they're like, yeah, we're qualifying you for that. And I'm like, what? what <laughs> right so the long story is of the matter is that god allowed me to qualify for ei we're not on welfare and it's literally been over what two years glory be to god and we're not on welfare so the reason of me sharing this story is to let you know that your situation and your circumstance might seem impossible but not with god i don't share these videos because oh i've gone through nothing in life or because things are just great for me. No, I share these videos because I've gone through a lot of things in life and I'm now at the place where I realize that, you know, only God's gonna do this for me. You have your life ever been so mucked up, <laughs> so destroyed, so damaged that you're literally looking at it and you're like, there is just no way 
all the planning and the the the, the reconstructing of the, the situation that I'm trying to do there's there's just no way that this is going to work out there's there's no way I'm going to let you know that there is a way and that way is Jesus Christ. The word of God says that Jesus is the truth, the light, and the way. I've had people that I trusted, that I can find it important information to turn around and say to me, your life is going to be a living H-E double hockey stick now that I'm not in it. But let me tell you this, okay? If you're in a relationship, right? And you know that that person's not helping you do anything, why would you believe their lies when they tell you that their life is your life is going to be worse now that they're not in it no your your life is going to be better okay now that they're not in your life okay if they're not helping you with the bills they're not helping with you with anything and they leave it's one extra mouth for you to feed so why would you believe that lie so that's the lie that i believed from the individual that i was with that said this to me you're not helping pay the bills you're hardly helping to, you know, pay for groceries, help supporting my kids and the child that we have together. But you want to turn around, you have the audacity to tell me that I'm going to struggle now that you're not in my life. No, I'm going to be free mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. And I'm going to even save some coins, some money as well, right? So the point of the matter is that I'm trying to say to you that your situation that you are faced with, that God will work it out. Serving God it requires your trust. It requires all of you. Because the word of God is we're to love the Lord with all our hearts all our mind body and soul we're supposed to love him and trust him we can't go in a relationship with god half-hearted no because he gave us his all god gave us his all when he sent his son jesus christ to die on the cross for us so we can't go in a relationship and say god i'm gonna have one foot in and one foot out no god i'm gonna have all of me in I don't know about you today, but that's me. God, I'm all the way in. There was a time where I could say I was beyond cold. I was, I was lukewarm. I was claiming to know God, but I had no idea who he is or who he was. But you see, when God comes in your life, he intervenes and he takes control of your heart and your life and your situation. There's no way you can be the same. There's no way that you can have a love for the world and for God. That's why the word of God says that you either you can't serve two masters. You can either love one and hate the other. And the reason that God says that is because he knows that it's true. He knows that his love is unfathomable to the point where you just you're overwhelmed with his love to the point where you're like, God, I can't have the world it has no use to me i need you when you love god you literally become desperate for him you come to the point where like god i don't want to say or do anything that will hurt you there's a lot of times that i find people are talking about oh you know god is controlling he's a tyrant he's this he's that shut up no he's not you're disobedient living in sin and i'm not talking to those of you that know what i'm talking about when you want to be sold out and be desperate for god that's not i'm not talking to you i'm talking about those people that are talking about god is this and god is that and trying to discredit god i'm telling you kindly to shut up it's just like a child that has no love, no respect, no regard for their parent. When that parent instills rules for those children to follow and those kids want to have their way, you know, they're going to say, oh, my mom's such a B-I-T-C-H. Oh, my dad is such a da-da-da-da-da. They're going to have the list, right? If you have kids, you understand. I have kids, so I know. You don't have any respect. That's exactly, you don't, you don't know God. So that's the reason why you're saying all these negative things about him. You don't know him. Why don't you get to know him first? Because had you known him, you would not have been disrespectful to him. I thank you so much for watching this video. If you like videos like these again, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Take care. I hope I'll see you in my next video. Until then, bye.